2020 has come to an end and we are in a new year happy new year to my beautiful family subscribers you know my usual commentators <laughs> new year i wish you guys a beautiful year ahead 2021 is going to be a year of favor peace happiness financial breakthrough you know we'll be we'll be spending the money so welcome to my channel my name is <laughs> always i'm gonna be <laughs> Organe Tega Clifford, aka Tega of Lele of Lagos. <laughs> hey boy. Is this Are you here to see someone? Hi. I since parked and ready to leave. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Let's start with Aminu to Mimi and Aminu sister. I don't want to let's move to the action, then we'll come back to the other part. You know I've been waiting for who that human being was that had the F1 tree to insult to me like that. You can't come in here and demand the nanny and the child follow you when we don't even know who you are. Now, I'm angry with her. Honestly, you have the audacity to, to talk to her like that. Hmm. Kai. Aminu. I trust Aminu to always get women. Like you, but at the same time, I'm trying to look at it from both angles. I mean, Jasmine was the same plain wife in a house nobody married you into. I beg your pardon, pardon, begged. You know, I don't have time to waste my energy paying respect to one of Aminu's concubines. Aminu's sister is a, he has a, I don't know, it's as if wherever he goes in any, in any web series, he likes to have a spoiled, rude sister. Because if you watch Skinny Girl in Transit, he had a very Rude, sport brat as a sister. Now we are here again, and he has another rude, sport brat as a sister. So I think it's just a a trend, or the two TVs are copying each other. I don't know. In, um, her walking into the house, you know, not introducing herself. She's already a bitch. Naturally, you can even tell from the way she entered. It's only a sport person. So does not have respect for anybody. But at the same time, Aminu has put Tumini in a position where she can she can get disrespected. Just enjoy your money and be silent. You cannot come into my boyfriend's house and speak to me like that. Also, Tumini has put herself in a position where she gets disrespected. Boyfriend, huh? Mm -hmm. I see. So what if I told you that your boyfriend's house is actually my father's house? Would it be easier to take my insult? Because ir 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 irrespective of how rude Aminu's sister was, she spat out the truth just in a very rude and destructive manner that's the truth you know it's a shame that you live with a man and you have no clue what his sister looks like and you say you are not a concubine damn you know i, I mean to me it was you know she was trying to fire back but Oma, even i tried to film la bush because i mean she was actually spitting out some some deep truth because how can you be dating this guy for so long? Not for so long, but it's, it's over a year now that they've been dating. You have you don't even know how his sister looks like. I have two brothers. Every girl that wants to date them, they literally tell me, and you know, they introduce us because you just have to get to know the family. I feel like that's very that's wrong on Amino's part. He should have introduced to me to his sister or his brother or whoever is his family member because you know it's a polygamous family so we don't even know who is who anymore but at the same time i just feel like the, the um, I mean, no sister really really said the honest truth because this is how we started with jasmine jasmine was a girlfriend now she became a baby mama he never put a ring on the finger that's why i was saying in the other season that i don't know why Tumini moved into his house i i am still standing on the fact that i am against it you can't move permanently into your boyfriend you have no put ring on your finger i'm not saying you cannot spend the night or maybe stay like a month and go back but permanent there he's not your husband i don't know maybe it's an african mentality 
but I just stand completely against it. And I, I have made that clear from my previous reviews that I wasn't into the whole moving in until he was your husband. <laughs> Enjoy your trip and be quiet. But now she can see that even the sister is basically saying it like you're literally exactly what Jasmine was. Jasmine moved into Amino's house before they knew because basically to me and Amino are sleeping together. Jasmine was doing the same thing with Aminu. Now there's a baby. Thank God the baby's not for Aminu. But if 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 actually the baby could have been Aminu's own, that's the truth. You know that she was cheating because they were actually sleeping together. So there's really no difference between Jasmine and Tomini in the sense of the pattern that the sister is seeing. Tumini puts Tumini in a space where she gets disrespected and the same thing, Tumini puts herself there for her to get disrespected. So, two of them, eh? If I, all of them, eh? You know, like, oh God, I'm so, I'm upset that, you know, Tumini was insulted that way. But I cannot close my eyes to the fact that Amino's sister spoke some honest, deep truth about the whole situation. So, now that we've sorted that out, I feel like, yeah, there are a lot of things that to me and I mean, we need to sit down and talk about. But I don't want them to break up, but please, I, lo I love them too much. They, they, they are good together. Now, let's move to the aspect of why the hell were they all running? I don't understand. Is am I the only one that feels like necessary why is nobody running because she could today and please they couldn't get a newborn baby not a newborn baby but at least a baby that is maybe two weeks old for just that tiny thing you have to use a baby like that baby looks like he's 30 maybe three to four months old baby because it doesn't look like a newborn baby baby that's any old <laughs> i'm sorry that's just my opinion. I already saw the child, I'm like, they couldn't get a newborn baby, or they couldn't get like a baby that is one month, two weeks to a month old, just for like 20 minutes of that scene. Because if I have five minutes of that scene, because why do you have to be like, like three to four months old? Because that baby looks old. <laughs> God, if you go through the comment section of Red TV right now, on under this particular episode, it is hilarious. Like, people are literally saying the same thing. <laughs> Then running, tie your run. This one run. Larry, where are you running to? Because baby, baby, that is not even the last one. People are running. We don't even know if baby is even Louis or not. Demi or why? Yes, to find out. But I think it's actually Louis's child. But I do, I do not understand the running part to me. Maybe someone should explain it to me. Because why are you running? I don't understand. <laughs> because I feel like after this baby is born, that that, that they born the baby now, the war <laughs> that is coming along with this child. I don't think we're ready for it. Though. You know the way Lola blew that candle off. I be blew that candle out. Eh. Just know that whatever is coming in season four, we ain't ready for it yet. So I felt like that part was overly dramatic. They didn't have to run. It's not to me. It's not Lola. In fact, it's Louis's child. But still, <laughs> he didn't have to run. And the fact that all of them got there at the same time. Mm, from different areas what a coincidence but i mean it is what it is and also i think i love the part where louis comes home you know all angry and then he sees lola and then there's a smile on his face hoping in the fast lane fast lane tell me what you're trying to get into i want to love you forever forever and ever but you baby you could tell that this woman is his safe haven that he really loves this man and I feel like they will make a very good couple like in reality <laughs> so yeah I mean I, I love that that fact that scene made me go mm, like very sexy made me know that where my band gonna be I'm not gonna be doing all them you know when you're having a very terrible day in the office stress you just call them you just see your woman your, your wife on the bed with some sexy lingerie <laughs> Someone as pretty as you should have someone as rich as me to buy you a brand new car and not call mechanics. <laughs> don't you tell me that now that I don't need to be going to mechanic. You don't buy me brand new car. Ah, Oluwa. 
even me I want now. There's this one crying to want because me to ah no come fine ah a mini fine girl. I wait till we deserve a uh, rich man that will tell you that we don't need to use mechanic. We just change car for us. Ah, ah God, when ah just when you outside, we go make the money too, so we gonna be alright. So yeah, find out that um, I mean actually stole um, Jasmine from Kojo. I feel like Karma is a bitch because you stole problem. <laughs> episode is more for Tumini and Amino, and it's been a long overdue episode that focuses on them and not Louis and Lola. Even if at the end of the day, he's still going to Louis and Lola, but still, it focused on Amino and Tumin to a large extent, and I really, really like that. I like the fact that, you know, she gets gifts all the time from him, you know, his punchlines are mad. Kilode! So you do know how to spoil a girl? You know how to spoil you, darling. Hmm? <laughs> so like, you know how to spoil women? Like, no, I know how to spoil you. I'm like, ooh, eh. <laughs> I'm in love with you, but I don't feel oh, like this. For heaven's sake, Taya, there are no buts. You love her, and that's it. Finito. And I'm going to give credit to Taya. You know, I've been on his throat and on his neck, but I would say that finally he's moving from stage one to stage two. So he has left the stage of denial. He has finally accepted the fact that he actually loves Tiara and he's able to say it. So that's growth. That's a step forward that you can actually say from Mama to Mama block his ass. Shall block his motherfucking ass. He <laughs> shocked him. Like I don't blame Tiara for blocking me because she's only seeing what she's seeing. She's outside the country. All she's seeing is he invited Hadiza for a party and he forgot to mention you know, he literally did not mention it and you know Lola posted it. So she saw it and she's like, This guy, after I want you so many about this girl, she's still in your life. Now I know for a for a fact now that Hadiza and Tayo are just friends. They're actually just friends, no benefit. It took a while for them to get to where they are, but now I realize that they're just friends. So but I feel like Adiza still likes Tayo. Even if she just has, she just come to terms with the fact that his heart is not with her and she's ready to be friends with him irrespective of that maturity. And two, I would I would also credit her because the tire we knew before was always in denial and you know him able to, him being able to say that he loves Tiara is a very huge step. Him feeling the way he feels, his chest pounding, his body feeling funny, that is progress. That is a step growth that okay, he has moved from his own lying to himself, lying to everybody that now he's on a different level of acceptance and I'm really proud of him. Can I talk? Okay, be my guest. So yeah, and then I'm going to say that meeting the new Naomi, I don't know which I prefer, if it's the old Naomi or this one, but I think I prefer this new Naomi because her acting is way more better than the old Naomi. Giving me everything I want. So if you prefer, I can ask him for you. Abish. I don't know to me I, I really never liked the old Naomi's um, acting I felt like it was so obvious that she was acting to me but this one felt a little bit more realistic she reminded me of, of Tiara actually when she was doing all she was doing so yeah I think I would give her I, I think her acting is not bad even if it was a very short scene but she's pretty with a nice body yeah I noticed that so I'm excited. It's a new year, guys. It's a freaking new year. Don't forget to write your new year resolution and stick to it. Just three three things. Don't write a large paper and you don't fulfill it. Just three things that you really want to achieve in 2021. Oh, good. Ah, I'm confined. I'm confined. Today, ah, hey, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. Ah, speck of light. Take a look at this. Hey, hey. Ah, oh, little, little. Hey, hey. Lagos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share. We ended 2020 on a very good note. We ended 2020 with 4,500 subscribers. I couldn't have been where I am today without you guys. So I want to say a big thank you for everybody that actually ever stumbled on my video, watched, like, commented, even disliked because your dislike earned me more views. Like people wanted to know why this video is actually being disliked. 
you know my my videos being recommended my revenue people that don't skip my ads i'm super grateful because i made my first one thousand dollars on youtube before the end of 2020 that's how i closed the year i closed the year with 4,500 subscribers 15,000 watched hours a hundred videos wow a hundred videos a very beautiful review from youtube a thousand and eighty five dollars as my revenue for the year and finally i had over five hundred and fifty thousand views so i'd say i did well for myself so i'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm begging you it's a new year it's a new year let's start afresh let's start beautiful and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Hey, somebody's daughter. Ah, 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 ah. Take a look. Ah, ah. See the glow. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, ah. My husband is lucky. Whoever he is, wherever he is, he's gonna be a lucky bastard. Cause. <laughs>